In this practice problem, we're going to calculate the um, distance between two billiard balls given their masses and the gravitational force between the two of them. And I'm sorry, it's out of focus. All right, so we've got two billiard balls. Mass of my first billiard ball is 0 0.3 kilograms. The mass of my second billiard ball is 0 0.4 kilograms. My gravitational force between the two of them is 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11th newtons. And I'm looking for the distance between them. All right. So remember Fg is equal to big G, m1, m2 over r squared. Okay. I can say that r squared then is big G, m1, m2 over Fg, and square root both sides. So now I get the distance is the square root of the constant of universal gravitation times the product of both masses, all divided by the gravitational force. Plug in what I know. Again, I'm going to use pin this time. So big G is 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meter squared per kilogram squared times 0.3 kilograms times 0.4 kilograms okay all divided by my gravitational force which is 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11 newtons okay to solve my numerator I do see that this kilogram times kilogram will cancel out my kilogram squared okay so I got R then is equal to something with a newton meter squared all over 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11th newtons. All right, if I go ahead and multiply across the top, I'm going to have in my numerator 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11 times 0.3 times 0.4. Oops, plus zero. I'm not going to confuse you guys with that, so we'll just delete that. All right, and we get... 8.01 times 10 to the negative 12th. Okay. All right. I can take this numerator and divide it by my denominator. So divided by 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11. And I get that the radius is equal to the square root 0 0.0898 meters squared. So I'm going to get something square root of meter squared is meters. That makes sense for a distance. I'm going to take the square root of this value. I keep doing that. I got chubby fingers today. So 0.3, because that's going to keep rounding up. So 0.3 meters, or another way we could do this is, uh, yeah, well, we'll just go ahead and keep it there. All right, because we like things in meters. So a little under half a meter. Okay. Um, there you go. And that's a pretty good distance between, or it's a reasonable distance between two billiard balls.